Ryan Little. <laughs> guys i hope y'all are having an awesome day we got some good 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 content today uh repping the air dog hat this hat fits amazing air dog if you're watching this so thank you once again uh i got a big head and flex fit you know it, it, it it's the good stuff okay so you guys you saw the beginning of the video the intro that is right we are going to be swapping out that disgusting no name lord knows what country that came from probably china we're gonna be swapping out that sump on the tank today with a beans diesel sump that's right the family over at beans diesel decided to help out the channel by donating a uh sump to the channel to help with you know get some clean american made uh quality parts on the truck today so i'm extremely excited the beans diesel family Thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. I'm honored to be able to rep your parts on my truck in this build. We're gonna be looking good and tip top for a Music City Showdown truck show, which I'm still pumped for. I cannot wait. Uh, blessings and all my wishes go out to anybody out there in the Nashville area. Uh, hopefully you're doing good and your family, friends are all safe. Um, I know about the tornado recently, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and get this video started, okay? All right, you guys, so a couple things. First things first, Beans Diesel, okay? So Beans Diesel is actually a, a performance company. They, they make more than just sumps. Um, I believe a common misconception in the diesel community is people, when they hear Beans Diesel, they're like, oh, fuel sump, that's it. That's all they do. Uh, actually, no, that is far from it. They, they do a lot more and they constantly have cool stuff going on in their shops. Uh, my man Mike over there, thank you so much for helping me out. I appreciate it, man. Tons of information. Anytime I have a question, he got back to me so fast, which is, to me, customer service is like number one. It means so much. They have a lot of stuff on there. Uh, they got billet valve cover. Check out the website. That's all I'm gonna say. Check out the website. You're gonna be surprised. They don't just sell diesel sumps. Um, they sell a lot more stuff. So check the website out. You might find something you like, okay? So next thing I gotta say is also make sure you smash that thumbs up in this video because y'all know how I am with that. It helps the channel grow. It helps new people check out the videos. So I appreciate that so much. Now let's go ahead and get the talk. All right, you guys. So I figured I would take my time and actually explain what a sump is, all right? So as you guys know, I have a fuel pump, air dog lift pump, right? A air dog lift pump, you can choose optional to pull from a sump at the bottom of your tank or it can go from the top side from the draw straw okay now when would a sump apply to you when would you be able to use a pump a sump you can't use a sump on a stock in tank lift pump that's it, it you can't okay sumps are going to apply to you if you're running an aftermarket lift pump such as an air dog or a fast or whatever lift pumps are out there nowadays um what's cool about uh end of bottom of the tank sumps is that it is sucking fuel from the bottom which means it's getting all the fuel out okay traditionally on the oem lift pump inside the tank it's going to pull from the top and then send it to the front of the engine to the injection pump what a sump is at the bottom and it's a clean suck from the tank there also this sounds contradictive but 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 hear me out you're not suck you're sucking out any bad contaminants out the bottom of the tank because we all know things like to sell to the bottom of these tanks and your filters should catch them okay so that means you should be maintaining a pretty clean tank on the inside so another thing too but that's popular with sumps is that you guys might have heard of the quarter tank issue all right so these stock trucks then this is kind of like the older trucks like your, your second gens and early power strokes where you have the quarter tank issue where you your truck cuts off because at a quarter tank it can't get a solid stream of suction from the straws to pull up to the sending unit. So a sump will eliminate that quarter tank issue. Um, on these newer diesels, you don't really have to worry about that on the stock lift pump, but it's still good to have. It's a, it's a relatively inexpensive investment that is gonna have multiple benefits to it, okay? So now we're gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you guys the goodies. All right, all right. So you guys, check it out. So we have a lot of stuff here. We got our sump solid billet aluminum, okay? made in the us of a and it has the beans machine beans diesel uh laser etched onto it this right here is a nice it's probably you can feel the quality in that okay now when you order a sump from beans you're gonna get multiple things okay the koozies were, were was a gift to me but you might get koozies too i don't know uh but you're gonna get the sump you're gonna get a saw hole a saw blade or yeah 
a hole for to drill a hole, <laughs> uh, and you're gonna get awesome quality instructions. Um, I'm big on instructions, and I read through all of the instructions for installing this sump, and they pretty much make it foolproof. You cannot be confused installing this when you read these instructions. Very good, and they also include a link to a video showing how to install it at the bottom, okay? So Beans was nice enough to send us the new, this hasn't even hit the market yet, it's about another week, uh, probably a, less, a little less than a week by the time you guys see the video before this is gonna be released. This new kit, it utilizes the same style sump, but now they take the guesswork out of what fitting to use, okay? So what that means is they include all the fittings you could possibly need for your set setup because every fuel system setup is going to be different. Filters were not included. These filters are from AirDog, but since we're working on a fuel system today, I'm gonna to be changing out my water filter and fuel filter because it's about that time, okay? So they gave us a lot of good stuff, okay? So from now on, when you order these bean sumps, no more guesswork. You will have everything needed to get the job done right the first time and only the first time, okay? Oh yeah, she's leaking. All right, so we got her draining right now. While this drains, um, well, actually, we just gotta wait. Uh, so changing the sump, you guys, is super, super simple. I mean, it takes, it's probably gonna take about 20 minutes to knock on wood wherever it's at, but uh, super simple job. One of the reasons why I'm changing this sump as well is because if you look at my tank, all of that wetness is not coming from the top. It's coming from that sump. That fitting, that brass fitting there, where the hose connects into ever since I've had it it's always leaked and then the whole sump just started to leak itself so it this this was one of those cheap it came with my air dog when I bought it it was just a cheap generic uh, fuel sump it did its purpose but it, it it was bound to get replaced so this thing I mean all of that stuff around it the oil and dirt and stuff is because fuel was seeping out of it you know what I'm saying so we're gonna let this drain. Um, it shouldn't be long, I only had like an eighth of a tank. My fuel light came on, so it shouldn't be too long. All right, you guys, so while the tank is draining, um, I figure I can go over what we're gonna be doing for the new sump, okay? So for the new sump, you have two, you have two ports. Return, sorry, return, sending. So pressure, return, some people like to call it. The easy way to tell, your pressure or suction line is going to be the one with a bigger bowl in it. If I rotate this, your return is just that little one, okay? Now, my return is actually on the top of my tank because that's how it was when I installed my air dog. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it there because it, it's just a return line, it doesn't, do, it doesn't do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up using this provided plug being sends out with their sump and I'm gonna put this plug in here. I'm not gonna install it yet. And then for me, I'm gonna be using this fitting. Now, if you have a lift pump, you're gonna get provided multiple barb fittings. That's what these are called, barb fittings, because they got little barbs on it. You're gonna get provided multiple of these, okay? I actually have an extra one, so what's gonna happen is this is gonna screw in here, like such. Make sure you don't cross-thread it, because it's easy to cross-thread aluminum threads. And then what happens is, is your fuel line will be on this side and then you would just snap this in. I'm not gonna put it on now because it kind of sucks trying to take off, you have to use pliers. Um, and you just snap it in and this is a seal. It's not gonna leak, super easy, super convenient. Uh, Beans also calls for the torque for this. It's gonna be 25 foot pounds, super light, nothing crazy. Uh, go ahead and they also say to put some grease I, I put oil in my fitting, the same thing. So you will go ahead and put some grease around here. What that's gonna do is ensure that you, the torque is properly, it's at the proper torque value when you apply 25 foot pounds to this fitting. Again, very, very careful. Aluminum, aluminum thread fittings is super easy to cross thread, over torque, strip out. So take your time. When in doubt, just you know back it off and try again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I went ahead and installed our fittings that we're gonna be using. Um, 25 foot pounds, 25 foot pounds. I recommend torquing one first and then the other before installing the second one. That way you can get the socket on there if you don't have a shallow head one. Um, well, once again, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, you know, once it's ready, you can tell. Big side, oh, this way. 
big side all the way here, or a small side here, sorry, I'm tripping. Small side there, boom, big side there, okay? Uh, it, it's optional, but when you install this plate in the bottom of the tank on the inside, you can have it lined up like that to where the bowl the, the bowl is uh, open right there. It doesn't make a difference, uh, Bean says, they, it'll still work as advertised, so that's just a little knowledge for you guys, okay? All right, so now we're under here underneath the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and take the old sump out, and that is as simple as taking off this Allen key. It's a one bolt system, so you don't have to worry about having multiple bolts going into your tank. Uh, those days are old and gone. So we just come over here, get up in here, loosen that bad boy. And just like that. So happy to get rid of this. All right, you guys. So the old the old plate was giving me a little fight, but I got her out. Uh, where I drilled that is right underneath my sending unit basket. So it was pushing down on it, but we got it taken care of. So now it's as simple as you take the seed, the, the little crescent portion. <sighs> get it up in here it might be a little tricky okay you guys so you saw me struggle a little bit to get it in uh, only reason why it was that hard for me to get that piece in was because like I said I drilled right below my sending unit so what you have to do is you have to push up the basket get it in there so it just takes a little bit of a uh, little finger little finger work and you know getting it right but we're good so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position my opening right about here because when I hook my sump up the fitting is gonna be right about there and it's gonna be spot on so I'm come over here and now when you put this on a trick a little trick so it doesn't spin is to when you get it threaded pull down on the threads once you get it threaded and what that does is it keeps tension against the plate but if you have it installed underneath the basket you don't have to worry about that because the basket is pushing down against the plate currently so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna get my my little thing lined up in the position just like that go ahead and run this up all the way Specified torque for this single bolt is going to be 22 foot pounds. Like such. If I look around my sump, it's 100% flush, which is exactly what I want. So now what I would do is I would come over here with my barb fitting, and I'm just gonna push that barb fitting on here. I come here with the hose, Push, the, push this into the hose and then connect it to the bar fitting and we're done. And then you will put some fuel in here and check for leaks, okay? And that, my friends, is an installed sump from Beans Diesel. Oh man, that's pretty. So clean. Now the moment of truth comes, y'all, when we do a leak check, but I'm 100% confident that this is going to be excellent. We shouldn't have any problems, but this is so much cleaner. It's not greasy and oily, all messy. I mean, I gotta wipe my tank down because my tank's all messed up from the oil in the past that's been seeping all over it. And it also decided to start raining on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Got that premium fuel pressure, baby. Air dog's doing good. Sump's doing good, no leaks. Look at that. Yes. Guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I had a fun time doing it. It was a super quick job. Uh, didn't get too messy. Very, very straightforward instructions. I'll be honest with you, I read the instructions all the way through one time, and then I went out there and I already knew what I was doing, but if this is your first time doing it, do not be scared. Um, a couple notes. I know I didn't talk about the, uh, the drill bit for drilling a hole in your tank. Do not be afraid to drill a hole into your tank. Um, as long as you put this bit on your drill correctly, you won't have any issues um you know you got the pre-hole there so it can get it lined up and then you just drill it 
clean hole. Uh, once you drill the hole out, get some sandpaper and clean up around the, the hole. Get all the burrs and stuff off of it. Um, don't be afraid to drill a cherry tank. You're, trust me, that you won't mess the hole up drilling. Just slow and steady, straight, st have a straight drill. You're good, okay? Um, another thing, if you stuck it out to the end of this video, guess what? I got something for you. So the team over at Beans Diesel decided to give us a promo code for the channel. Use code ETD10, no space, ETD10, and that's going to save you 10% on any Beans products, okay? So once again, if you want to get you a sump, go over there, save you 10%. Uh, fast shipping, all that good stuff, okay? And once again, I cannot stress enough, thank you so much to the Beans Diesel Performance family for sponsoring this video today by providing that sump. It was an awesome mod. I'm truly grateful for it. Um, I got the sticker here. This, uh, you, uh, you probably can't even see it really, but this is the Beans Diesel sticker. It will be going on the back of the truck window. Um, all my sponsors, I will be rep repping them on the back of my w window. Uh, on my truck uh, just to show some you know support and gratitude so once again I hope you guys enjoyed the video use the code I will have the links down below to the beans diesel website and I'll also have the promo code down below uh, until next time you guys comment down below let me know what you think of the video did you enjoy it until next time take it easy be safe and peace out